Nah, not really. Uh, it just comes down to um, being consistent down the stretch, making big plays, finishing at the rim, um, and then kind of understand the situation of the game. Uh, we were in the double bonus for a while, and then I know. I mean, I took a, I took a contestant jump shot. Um, had a couple turnovers. Uh, we should have, or I should have, um, been able to get downhill, get back, be, get back to the free throw line. Um, and you know, we gave up too many offensive rebounds. We gave up a free throw rebound late in the game. Um, that was obviously big. And then um, we kind of broke down in our scouting, um, in our scouting errors late in the game, letting. Uh, number 10 get downhill to his right hand. We know that's what he wanted to do. Um, he's good finishing around the rim in that mid-range area when he does that. So um, honestly, it was kind of just a breakdown of the scout um, late in the game, and then we didn't make enough tough plays either. So, Do you feel the momentum changing in those moments? Do you feel like the team as itself kind of gets tighter? You feel kind of that swing when they make a 7 over on. I think there was a timeout after that. You know, Does the panic button get pressed at that point? No, I wouldn't say the panic button gets pressed. Um, for me personally, um, I try and stay even, even cool, you know, regardless of what's going on when we're up 15, you know, when we're up two, you know, if we're down two, kind of just understanding that, you know, everything can flip, you know, just like that. And obviously it has the last two games. So um, from a team perspective, though, I don't think we hit the panic button. Uh, I, I truly don't know what it is right now, but that's the beauty of playing basketball. We get, we get back at it in a couple of days and, um, we'll go back to the to the drawing board. I know Coach P and his staff are, are working relentless to try and get things right, and then obviously we got to continue to have good practices. So um, that'll be a focal point. Quincy against Southern Illinois felt more like just unlucky. You had a lot of open looks, a lot of good shots down the stretch, and nothing was falling. Tonight, do you think it was a bit of complacency, getting tired towards the end of the game? How do you feel about the about the end? Like, what's your assessment on it? I don't know. Um, to be honest, I think they they out toughed us for the entire game. They scored most of their points in the paint, and I think that eventually just caught up to us. Um, whether the physicality kind of wore us down, which you know it shouldn't, but maybe that did happen, or um, I don't know. But I think it goes again back to the scout. I mean, there was, we had too many scouting mistakes at the end of the game, and um, that's the type of stuff that can come back to bite you when you let people do what they're good at doing. Um, they can do it consistently, you know, that's kind of what happens. They score quick and then, you know, offensively, you know, the ball sticks and that's kind of where we've saw, we've seen problems throughout the year. Um, I'm at fault for that, obviously too. Um, but I think it's just going to come down to, you know, come down the stretch, uh, late in the year, it's going to come down to making tough plays who can go out there for 40 minutes, knowing that they're bang, banged up and bruised up. Um, and just and just get stuff done because at the end of the day that's what matters. I mean, schemes can only get you so far, but you got to have five players on the floor that can go get it done. So, is there an element of this where you know you guys can build up a big lead and then you know you talk about mental mistakes, whatever? You just get comfortable. You know, you you, you start maybe losing focus when you build up those big leads. I don't think so. Um, I think. I mean, truly, I don't know. I, I mean, it's, it's happened twice now. Um, but that's that's about all I can say. I mean, we just gotta we gotta go back to the drawing board and figure out what it is because at some point we're gonna need to come up big, lay down the stretch, and you know obviously uh, later the latter half of, of the season and then obviously the conference tournament. But as a as an upperclassman, as a as a veteran, that's that's partly my job to figure out why we can't um, seem to close out a game right now. But we'll get it done. What was the message in the locker room? Um, Coach P is obviously, you know, he's frustrated, but um, we all we all are. We should be. Um, we're going to let it sting. And um, we just got to go back to um, what we kind of rely on in, in our principles and our foundation, um, which is, you know, being, you know, gap heavy, defending, and then uh, keeping the ball hopping on offense. And, you know, I said it however many times that we got, you know, six or seven guys that can score in double figures. So once we get the ball moving, you know, get everyone involved and stuff like that. Um, that's when we're best on offense, and then on defense, we just gotta, you know, take more pride in getting stops, not just you know defending until the shot clock runs out, but just getting clean stops that um, that ends with the rebound. So.